Oh, hi there. Um, it's been a weird week. Like, it hasn't actually been a weird week. It's been a perfectly normal, boring, bland week. But I've just had a bad brain week and I've just felt just really rubbish. So, um, I haven't been filming, so I don't have a vlog for this week. And I thought I would do a haul because it's the end of the month. I thought it might be fun to do like a September haul. I don't buy a lot of stuff. So I kind of collected together all the bits that I bought this month. And yeah, I thought it might be fun to show them off a bit. Let's start with the most obvious thing. I bought some new hair dye this month, which is Directions by La Riche. I haven't looked it up, so I might be wrong, but my memory tells me that they're a British company and they're cruelty free and vegan, which is really good. I got Bright Daffodil and Carnation Pink. I've never used these colours before. I wanted to try something new and I love it. I love it so much. It's so bright. I don't know how it's going to be showing up on the camera, but in real life, it's just properly like whenever I catch a glimpse of it, I'm like, oh my God, I have highlighter hair. It's so cool. I like this brand of dye. It's the only one I've ever used, so I can't like compare it to anything, but I've never had any trouble with it. And just the fact that it's like British and cruelty free and I can get it from like the local hippie shop which is where I also got the, my essential oil I got some lemon essential oil which is good because it's nice to support local shops it's one of those places I'd be really really sad if it ever closed down so it's nice to to buy some stuff from them every now and then when I have the pennies and they also gave me this they called it a catalogue, but I'm just going to go ahead and call it a zine because it clearly is, is a zine and I love zines. But yeah, and inside it has like all of the oils that they sell and all the like properties and stuff of them and what they help you with and it's, it's really cool. I'm glad that they gave me that. It'd be really useful. What shall I do next? Let's just work my way along. I've laid everything out so that it's easy. I'm just going to work my way around. Okay, so the next thing is very exciting. It's a little tester pot of house paint. But it is exciting because it was only 25p. There was like an aisle in Wilco's of reduced stuff. It was mostly like gardening stuff and like house paint. And this one is Soft Rose. I don't know if you can see. It's a very pale colour. Which I would prefer it was like a bright, vibrant colour. But what I thought was it would be good for painting. Like there's a wooden shelf in the kitchen. Is it a shelf? Does it count as a shelf if it's not like on a wall? I don't know, anyway. I want to sand that down and paint it and I thought this would be good, like a good background colour and then I could paint on top of it, which I thought would be fun. I also got this little pack, this is my sticker, of sketchbooks from Tiger. You get three in a pack. I haven't drawn anything in them yet, but they're just plain smooth paper and I just thought they'd be fun for why is it focused on my wall over there what are you doing what are you doing camera but yeah I thought um they'd be good I my sketchbook is really all over the place sticking stuff in it scribbling in it like it's just a big old mess of stuff and I thought these might be nice just to do like one drawing and then like on the next page just like one like I don't know something cleaner to play with? I don't know. We'll see what they end up with. But they were like a pound, I think. Maybe two pound. I think they were a pound. So, you know, sketchbooks for a pound. Why not? When we went out, I think I vlogged about it. I probably mentioned it even. We went out and we went to a secondhand bookshop that we'd never been to before. And they had lots of like little boxes of prints and stuff. I got this, I'm trying to take it out of the bag because it'll be too shiny, I don't think I'll be able to show it to you. But I got this print for 50p, which is amazing. Can you see it? It's of like a fairy in a snail shell carriage and these like, I think they're like mayflies or damselflies or something, they're like her horses and there's like a little fairy guy here and a little fairy person here. And I just loved the border, I think it's beautiful. And I didn't know what it was, but I googled this, and because I'm uncultured, I didn't know that this is the Fairy Queen from, I can't remember what it's called, Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream? 
Like I said, I'm uncultured, I have no idea. But I really, really like it. I'm going to put it up somewhere. But I love this guy. Look at this guy. The little driver. Isn't it cute? Yeah, 50p. So, I mean, I'm not one for spending 50p just for the sake of spending 50p. I'm incredibly frugal. But I really, really liked it. And it was only 50p. So how could I say no to that? I couldn't. It was good. One of my favourite things to do is to go on eBay and find cheap stickers. I love stickers and I put them on orders, like I decorate envelopes with stickers and I put them in my diary and just on anything that you can put a sticker on. So every now and then I go on there and I look for a load of cheap stickers and do like an order. And I got some pretty good ones this time. These ones, I hope I can show you. They're hearts and they're like sparkly and they're like rainbow. I think that's showing up pretty good. But they're really nice and I got these little shiny hearts they're nice and small and they're like all the different rainbow colors and they're like sparkly as well and then also these like holographic stars which are really cool and these ones were slightly more expensive but I think you'll agree that they were very much worth the £1.89 I got these Pokemon stickers <laughs> And I know it's a little bit naughty because they are not official merchandise, <laughs> but they were too good. I love how wrong the drawings are and I love things that are misregistered and these as well are shiny. I don't know if you can see because of the plastic, but the misregistering on some of the like shadow colours and stuff are just, oh my god, look at them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them because they're just, they're so precious. And the last thing is like a slightly more proper haul type thing to share is I did an order from Gemma Flack. I love, love, love Gemma Flack. I've bought things from them a few times and I very much love them. First, I'm just going to show and cover up my, my address. These Australian stamps. Aren't they cool? They have all like sea creatures on them. Can you see them? They're awesome. I was so pleased. I love getting proper post. I love it when the stamps are fancy. But yeah, what I got from Jam Flack was I got the freezings. I haven't bought anything from them since they started doing these, so I just bought them all. They're in. Is it the Sticky Institute? I think you can pick them up for free. But obviously on Etsy it has to have a price on the listing. I think they're like 20p each or something. But yeah, it's like a monthly or something. I don't know. Cool zines. I got these. There's number one. And number two. And number three. And number four. And they're like one sheet. Like folded. And then there's like a poster in the middle, which is just, they're really cool. I just I love their work so much. And then for the fifth one, they did like a fancy risograph version that got translated into Japanese. So I got the, the fancy one. It's not going to show up on... Why does it keep focusing over there? I'm so sorry if it's been like that the whole time, because I'm not looking really. I'm an idiot. But... Look at the colour of this ink. Like, it's probably not going to show up, but it's like fluorescent orange. I think it's Risograph. I love... Oh, Risograph always looks so good. I really need to find somewhere where I can get access to it. But yeah, it's just like black and fluorescent orange on the pink paper, and it's just beautiful. So I don't know how many times I'm, I'm going to say that. I just I love their work so much. And then I also got this, their Mirror Selfie Zine set. So this is just a little zine of nice drawings and stuff. And I got the set, so I got this print. You get to choose which print you want, and I got this one. Smell the flowers, which is really cool. I think these are reso printed as well, this whole set. And I also got these stickers, which are all on one sheet. And I know you could like cut them out and use them as stickers, but they look so good all together. I think I'm just going to keep it and then if I ever have something that I could put a sticker on that's just big it'd be really cool to use it as one big sticker but I don't think I'm going to 
I think I'm going to keep it as a print for now. I don't want to cut them up because they're so, so nice. And also, I'm going to show off the business card because stuff like this is cool. I love even like getting a business card from someone is just amazing. Like extra little things like this cost money and they're always really nice. And like, I don't know, I love collecting things like this. And it also came with this cool sticker, which is really cool. Because in case I haven't said it before, I really, really like their work. <laughs> I think they're super cool and I love them. But yeah, so that's my haul. It's my September haul. And hopefully I'll stop having bad brain and I can go back to doing vlogs because I like doing vlogs. I just haven't felt like filming anything because I've felt like poop. Um, hopefully next month is October and I'm gonna do Inktober and I'm trying to figure out an interesting way to like film it. I don't know if I'm gonna do some time lapses or if I'm just gonna incorporate it into the vlog or something, but I think that'll be cool. So hopefully I can get myself back in gear before I start doing that because I don't wanna do a bad job and then feel worse about myself. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing Inktober. Thank you for watching my whole video. I hope you're having a nice day. I hope your brain is doing better than mine. And if it's not, then just remember that it will be better than it is now at some point. you just got to stick with it. You're perfectly, perfectly good. You'll be fine. We'll both be fine. I believe in you. I really do. I know it sounds like I'm being a joke, but it's just because I'm awkward. I think you'll be fine. I know you'll be fine. Why can't I say bye without sounding like an idiot? So yeah, bye. <laughs>